Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming back at you with another IL-2 Great Battles. That's right. Uh, IL-2 Sturmovic changed its name a few years ago to Great Battles because they're doing more than just the East Front. They're doing West Front as well. Uh, I can't wait till they, like, venture into the Pacific. I would be super excited to do stuff like Wildcats. Oh, man, I would be all over the Wildcat. Okay, but right now we are in the Tempest. Let's go ahead and do the career. Continuing our career, Mr. Everything. The American in the 3rd Royal Air Force in Volkel, which is near uh, Vagel. There we go. In the morning, I have a mission. It is enemy column attack. Let's go ahead and... Uh, if anybody knows, uh, put in the comments. Oh, that's a cool looking picture right there. I like it. Now, if anybody knows, uh, put in the comments um, when you when uh, the Normandy expansion uh, module is coming out. When I pre-ordered it, but I don't know exactly when it's supposed to be coming out. I'm excited for that. All right. Whoa. Okay. So we are. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was like, well, we are going to go fly west over here on this side, over here in the first parachute army area. Normally, we've been fighting up here near Arnhem and all that, and then we would fly over here near Bukholz. This time, we're going to fly over here towards Herzogenbosch. Uh, okay, so we must be taking off this way because wind is probably southwest. Wind at ground level, north by east. Okay, I think they mean it's coming from the north by east. 20 miles per hour. Whoa, turbulence below clouds. Okay. You are to interdict vehicle traffic that has been spotted. As always, be on the lookout. All right. I am ready to take off. I am not number one. Okay, Trevor, I'm right behind you. Raising gear. Raising my gear. Yeah, the weather and the terrain is slowly starting to change, it looks like, a little bit. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I can't turn autopilot on while in third person. You got to do it while you're in the cockpit. Okay, so I turned autopilot on so we can go ahead and join up with Rodney and Harold Gibson. Harold Gibson's been the main man. There's Trevor over there. He's trying to keep up. I got one of those new engines. So... Let's go ahead and go third person, take some screenshots. Look at the, look at underneath my intake my exhaust is wide open. Okay. 
All right, let's go ahead and fast forward up until the we get to closer to the objective, and then I'll be right back. Yeah, I feel like we just took off. Um, just crossed our little uh, front lines. We're waiting for our additional friends back here to get caught up, so we're going to do a little orbit, it looks like. <clears throat> I'm in autopilot right now, so I'm not controlling myself. Um, scratching my nose is what I was doing there. Um, yeah, so we got to get Rodney and Gibson... Trevor and myself, we're going to swing around and get caught up with these other guys. Get Let them get join up, join up in our formation. And Westmoreland looks like they're attacking somebody. Uh, our objective is 13 out, so uh, we're going to swing around and go that way. Hopefully. Why are we orbiting again? There's Joffrey Green and Ronald Miller. Whoa, Trevor. Okay, everybody's trying to get into formation with us. You would have thought that the orbiting would have been done over our airfield a couple of times to let everybody get into formation and then flew off. But for some reason, this game likes to fly like real close to the objective and then do the circling until everybody gets formed up. It's kind of weird. Once I become flight lead, if ever, then that's what I'll do. I'll orbit the airport a couple of times letting my men get caught up but right now I hope hopefully we're gonna get closer to the objective and hopefully uh, Harold says something like attack individually blow stuff up that's what I'll do there's Stuart Moore over there Rodney Trevor is like right behind me Okay, I'm going to turn autopilot off. He didn't, I didn't hear him say attack, but that's what I'm listening for. So there's a column right there on that road. All I have is cannons. What? Now, all I have is cannons. I don't have any guns. I'm, I mean, but though, I don't have any bombs. Yeah, I just watched that movie Hurricane last night. I thought it was... Uh, pretty low budget but I enjoyed it I had fun it was a fun movie um, it's not really the kind of movie it's about the Polish squadron the 303 squadron and uh, the Battle of Britain didn't really focus on Spitfires it was all about hurricanes which I thought was kind of cool unique because you know Spitfire gets all the love and the hurricane gets no love Okay, our guys are diving down. Well, there's a bridge there. I wonder if I could do something with that. If I had a bomb, I could. Because I figured if I took him out on the bridge, 
He blocked the bridge. That was the plan. Did I shoot him on the bridge? Did he stop? Maybe he did. I won't have to slip like I was. Too high. Got a half track. Alright guys, come on, go in for your second attack. I stalled them. Nice. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to try to shoot some other stuff. Hey, oh my gosh! Where'd these guys come from? Okay. Thank you for the heads up there, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. Man, I just pushed on the throttle. I don't know if you noticed. Man, my nose. Okay, okay. I might have this guy. I'm on Christian. That's me. Acorn 4. Okay, you want him, you can have him. No, you can't, because he's about to shoot one of our guys down, and I'm not going to allow it. Get that out of my way. I think I knocked his tail off. Look at that. Yeah. All right, Harold, I got him for you. Beep. Okay, M M molar, I'm on you. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I was gonna black out, nope, nope. Still turn, just don't black out. Use a rudder, maybe that'll help. I'll go sideways instead of up and down. Deter molar. I see you down there. Waste my ammo. Got his tail again. Is his half tail broken off? Okay. I'm just going to play with him then. Until he decides that it's uh, not uh, not good. Good be dog fighting with the Tempest. The Tempest Ace! Got his tail again. Dang. Oh, 
that was some serious hits. Oh, he's on fire. Okay, hold on. I got to poop. Did we get a mission objective on the ground targets? I think we're heading home. Volker is saying proceed. Stuart, man, where are you at? I'm trying, I'm... The only guys I know of are the guys that were straight ahead. There's somebody. Couple of them. Three of them. Half. I shot up I shot up over the clouds come on team where you at I need you I've only got a hundred rounds left too so I've got to be really careful about how I shoot. Okay, I think I'm faster than this guy, so I might be able to outrun him. There's four guys on the left. I see you. I see you. You're going to try to not get shot, and I get that. Wow, that was half my ammo? I'm over my airfield. Right? Close? Wait, there's what? Pretty close, anyway. Let him go, because he's leaking. OK. 
Okay, don't let him go is what you're telling me. Got it. He's a Baron too. Von Braun or Von Bear or whatever his name was. Shit, there's three of them over there. I'm gonna give him a little burst and then I'm going home. I guess I could buzz them and cause them all to spread out. I got this guy leaking from earlier. I'm trying to get on his tail here. Without killing myself. Okay, I think I just did it. And he's flying right over our flak, but they're not shooting him. Requesting a landing approach. That's because you're trying to land while you're in a dogfight. I'm going for this guy. Still got a couple of rounds left, so let's try to get a perfect shot on him. That was a perfect shot. Something fell off his tail. I think we're good. I think we're good. Look at that. He's going into a spin. <laughs> okay. I don't see anything, so I am flying back towards base because I think I... Oh, wait. I take the back. Man, I'm I'm just not gonna have the arm ammo. I'm just gonna get up there and try to draw fire. Let that guy go. Oh wait, flax on him. As long as he doesn't 
mess with us, we'll let him fly home. There's the airfield right below us. Right there. I suppose I could land and then refuel, rearm, and take back off. We got a guy right there announcing that he's trying to land. And if and if I was somebody just got shut down. Okay, oof. Coming for you. Let's try not to black out. I'm not going to let you shoot my guys as they're coming in for a landing. What's his name? Little Shister. Little Schneider. Little, Schneider, little something. Ulf Schneider. Whoa, no, no, no. No. Well, that's what happens when you black out that close to the ground. I was really digging the Tempest. I might have to come back to the Tempest in a little bit. Well, I guess I'm on to the P-51 as my next plane. Dang. All right, well, thanks for coming out and checking out this. Well, hell, hell, well, let's just finish. Let's just finish. Mr. Everything is killed in action. Look at all those guys wounded or killed. There's only like four guys left. There I am. Deader than a doornail. But I had gotten quite a few. I would gotten all the way up to ten planes. Trevor was killed. Patrick was killed. Ronald. Man, all those guys we were flying with, they're all dead. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to jump into a P-51. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. See you then.